Recently, a group of pastors shared how God has used Calvary Chapel magazine at their fellowships. The magazine has helped communicate the Lord's vision for His church. One of the challenges of being a pastor is to impart vision to people. Calvary Chapel is still relatively unknown in our part of the world. And so Calvary Chapel Magazine gives us an opportunity to talk about the greater uh, body of Christ that we are involved with, and a great tool in imparting the vision for the ministry. For us, it validated to a good degree of who we are and that we aren't some kind of a cult or we aren't something that's just here today and gone tomorrow. But uh, there's a, a history and a lineage illustrated through the magazine that allows people to really see that, you know, this is something that's serious. Probably the week or, or two after we get it, um, we give it to our greeters and our greeters hand it to people as they come in. As a small church in uh, southern Utah, it really opens uh, the people's eyes to God's heart for the world. We'll hear about some catastrophe or some natural disaster that's taken place in some part of the world and a few months later it will be documented in Calvary Magazine that a group of Calvary Chapels or Calvary Chapel Church went out and they went to go minister to those people, um, that hurting community and um, they're able to see either with all the devastation and the hurricane or tsunami or whatever's taken place, earthquake, how the Lord has used that um, bad event for good and how Calvary chapels have been able to minister in that need. And I think it really encourages them because they go, hey, this is its own church group, its own movement. As Kenyans would open that magazine and see how God is using the Calvary movement around the globe, they were moved. And, and of course, Kenya is a tribal people 42 tribes, and they could then see that they were part of a tribe greater than just this church in Githurai or just this church in Kisumu or in Kibabe or, or wherever it may be. They could see that they're part of a, a global tribe that God's called together. The magazine has also strengthened people's faith. People just paging through it and seeing what God is doing in different parts of the world. I think it's faith building as uh, people can really get a, a glimpse of what um, is possible and what God can do. I think the biggest impact to our people is the exposure to the stories. Because when the people read the articles, they can see that these are real people like you and me. They're not super Christians. And they deal with everyday life issues. You know, we're inundated with bad news in the media, whatever, printed or, you know, TV or whatever. So when they get this magazine, and they get to see what God's doing in and through Calvary chapels and ministries that we work with. Right here in the continental United States and also around the world, it opens their eyes and their hearts and it, and it gives them God's, God's heart. It encourages them, it exhorts them to be able to uh, think, well, maybe I could do this. The magazine has also helped their fellowship reach out locally and around the world. One of the ladies in our church is a dentist, has her own practice. And so she always takes four or five copies and we put the labels on the back with the name of the church. And of course on the back of the magazine, one of the best features to me is that the gospel is right there on the back. And so when people uh, see that laying there on the table, they have an opportunity to pick that up and read it and know there's the gospel right there. It's sort of a silent outreach tool. Uh, that's what we encourage people to do. It goes into doctor's offices, it goes to the hospitals. We send it to a correctional facility located near our church. You know, one of the things we wanted to do is, is send it into there to bring the good news uh, that they, um, through that magazine, uh, might come to know the God who loves them. We've had the opportunity to hand magazines out, of course, for free and get them in the hands of the community. And it's been a great tool of evangelism for us, for folks who might be even a little bit afraid of evangelism. They have never evangelized before. They may not feel uh, like they know the Bible too well or what have you. We just say, you know, the easiest form of evangelism is to take this magazine and just either hand it to someone or leave it somewhere. Pray about how you can use this ministry tool to share the gospel with your friends, family, and community. Visit our website, calvarymagazine.org, or call us at 540-373-7882.